God told me to tell you it's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. Chosen ones, if you clicked on this right video, you clicked on the right video at the right time. Okay, I'm my chosen ones, star seeds, divine ones. Okay, smash that thumbs up. It's your boy Trap Trap Trapanese, spiritual Trapanese. And wait till the end, I got something special for you. If you click off the video, then you're probably a Decepticon. But God told me to tell you, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter how people treat you. It doesn't matter about what they're doing to you, how the devil tried to transpire to go ahead and take you off the game. Let me tell you something right now. No matter your endeavors, it doesn't matter. It is, it's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. Okay, God's going to move mountains on your life. God's going to do what he got to do in your life. He's going to make sure that all the blessings he bestowed on your life is going to come true. Okay, you done sat there and sowed good seeds. You done sat there and been faithful over a few things. He's about to make you a ruler over many things. You're more than a conqueror. And like I tell you, all these people that lie, play tricks on you. And guess what? These people that deceived you, that were just acting like they were just uh, uh, a watchful, you know, angel. Or, you know, they were just trying to help you out, you know, but they really was just had their hand out. See, people to be trying to just help you out. If they really just want a hand out. But guess what? When God's done do when God's done do delivering you, you know they're gonna be sad that they rip they sowed the seeds of the seed. They're gonna be sad that everything that they try to do, they was just trying to be compensated. See, God don't work like that. God don't sit there in 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 his transactional instant gratification type of way. No, 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 no. He wants you to marinate and he wants you to dwell in his house before he delivers you. Okay, put in the chat that God got me if you got this far and you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Because, you know, we are due. We are due for our time. Okay, you about to take off like a rocket. And what I'm trying to tell you right now, okay, when you achieve success, when you're really chasing your purpose, it's not a matter about if it's going to happen. It's a matter about when it's going to happen. And when it happens for you, understand what I'm telling you right now. These people are going to be sad and mad and aggravated. You think they're hating now? Just wait until they wait until it really happens. I mean, you was dead broke. You didn't have nothing. You didn't have a pot to piss in. Okay, what I'm saying? You was broke as a joke, ready to choke. Your bank account was on E. The only money you had was food to eat. When people tried to help you, they wasn't trying to help you because of the kindness of their heart. They was only trying to help you to be compensated. And when you real when they realized that you you didn't have it like that, guess how they treated you? They treated you like 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 gum on the bottom of their shoe, like they just sat in some damn gum. They trying to get you away as fast as possible. You know, they got your substitution line right up. Okay? They didn't want to be around for the long haul. Okay? But God said, be be weary, my son. Be weary, my daughter, of all these Satan devices. Be weary of the people that are just looking out for the their greater good at the end of the day. And it's cool. It's cool. Because the power of God, you know, it... It conquers all. Your glow up is going to be crazy. It doesn't matter about what you've been through. It doesn't matter about what you look like now. It doesn't matter about your bank account. It doesn't matter about your situation, your living situation. You know, they were trying to, you know, put these doubts in your mind of your greatness. Let me tell you something. The reason why they hate is because you destined for greatness and God's going to take you somewhere where they can't go because guess what? They were being deceitful because they were only looking to be compensated. They weren't really trying to do the works of God. They weren't trying to just do what was in right for, you know, do do right by the Lord. You know, they didn't see the genius in you. They didn't see your mind. They didn't see your grind. They didn't they didn't see your work. And you gotta get away from those people. Once you get that opportunity, once you get that once God grants grant you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and discernment, these people, these devils, these people that are sitting around you, that are only just trying to benefit off you. Because you had delayed gratification because you you stay faithful over a few things. Now you're about to be the ruler over many. And all of a sudden, now these people want to come around you. No, you can't benefit off the chosen one. This is for my chosen ones and my chosen ones only. Because there's going to be a lot of people that come around you. You know, the, the you know they're going to come around and and leech off your success. These bloodsucking leeches, vampires, these succubus, these, these, these Jezebels, you know, these these hating these hating foes as brother these, these hating foes dressed as bros you understand what i'm saying and no weapon formed against you shall prosper i'm telling you in the mighty matrimonious name of jesus christ i'm telling you right now okay because a flower will bloom you see that flower right there you see that jesus he died for your sins understand it's not a matter of when it doesn't matter if it's gonna happen it matters but when it's gonna happen because guess what you put the work in and God's not going to forsake you. He's not going to forsake your talents. He's not going to forsake your gifts. He's not going to forsake the mission that he put you on. Okay? 
You sat there and you you broke all generational curses. You broke all cycles of abuse. You broke all cycles of drunkenness. You broke all cycles of, of being miseducated, misguided. You seek guidance, okay? You're forever a student. And when, you, when you're a studious person, your longevity is gonna be so much further than everybody else. It's gonna be like a cosmic, cosmic explosion. I'm telling you right now, this is your confirmation. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you know, when you gain all the knowledge that you need in your repertoire, okay, when you trust yourself, when you trust your worth and understand that these people are just around you, just to benefit off you, okay, your success, your achievements, they just waiting around, lurking on the sidelines, like, look, you know, he, he ain't gonna make it, look, she ain't gonna make it, I'm gonna give them a hard time, all these people around you that gave you a hard time, that had always had something to say, they always had something to say about your finances, but no weapon formed against you, your finances, your well-being, your housing, you know, whether, where anything shall prosper, period. I'm trying to tell you, your purpose is greater than anything, anything in this world. And these people will try to lie to you and make they say and, and say that they love you, say that they care about you, say that they just trying to help you out. When really all all well, they really just waiting with their hand out. You know, it's like it's like having their hand behind their back. You know what I'm saying? Shaking you with one, really crossing their fingers. You know what I'm saying? And boom, their fingers is crossed. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these people deceive you. You know, you gotta you gotta weed out these people. Okay, okay, God give me knowledge, wisdom, and discernment because when it's not a matter about if it's gonna happen, it's about when it's gonna happen. You gotta have that positivity. You can't let nothing knock, you can't nothing stop you. Okay? Don't let the devil in, don't let the devil win. You're gonna be a force to be reckoned with, and people are gonna be sick and they're gonna be sick because they think they're sick and tired now. People are gonna be sick because they're missing out. And people are going to be like, oh, oh, why are you acting brand new? Why are you acting brand new? Because God made me new again. And when God made me new and God showed me, exposed me to everybody who tried to do me dirty, everybody who sat there and didn't want change in my life, who sat there and judged me, who sat there and treated me like I was scum on the bottom, I was scum of the earth. They treated me like, oh, the only thing, the reason why they're doing something for you is because they want to be compensated. They're not doing things out the kindness of their heart. They really don't love you. Get from away from them. Come from amongst them. People don't really love you for who you really are. So when you start seeing these levels, when you know, new levels, new devils, when you start seeing these new levels, you start seeing these new devils come out of them. Understand that, you know, it's not, you know, in the dollar bill, it says, God, we trust. But understand, people trust that dollar way more than they trust God. Okay. People don't trust the mission of what God has. You know, God has no boundaries. God has no stipulations to what he can't do. Okay? I understand that it's all in your mind and keep your mind open and keep your mind focused on the prize. The prize is you. Okay? Because nothing's going to stop you in this season. Okay? You might... You might be going through isolation. You might be going through incubation. You might be going through a different type of algorithm, but understand that this frustration that's built upon you is about to explode into a cosmic success mechanism. Understand what I'm saying? It's about to have you, it's going to have you well above all means, all it's going to have you making history and your family's going to be making you break generational curses. Understand what I'm telling you right now. Don't let nothing stop you because these people are watching you. They watching you fall. They watching you. They watching you cry out to the Lord. You know, it doesn't matter because you want to know why. Because God got me. Put in the chat. God got me. You know how we roll. Chosen ones. You know how we roll. Put God got me. Because what God got for me is only going to be for me. That's what God's trying to show you. What God got for you and where God's trying to take you, only you can go. So, yeah, it's lonely at the top, but it's better than being go ahead shitted on by people that are just using you. Excuse my French, but it's better than being being used by people that are, that are just manipulators, that are just con artists. You're not awakened to what's going on around you. And if you aren't awakened to what's going on around you, you will fall. God's going to give you your blessings, but you need to understand what's really going to take for you to really explode. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter about when it's going to happen. Positivity, good vibes, you know, setting yourself apart, coming from amongst them, standing in your prayer closet, and putting on all our armors of righteousness. You know, you got to stay prayered up. 
Okay, you got to repent for your sins. You got to be working on that repertoire you got. You can't be letting everybody know your business. You can't, you got to just really trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, people are going to be sad that they left the bandwagon too soon. They're going to be mad that they were putting, they're putting riches over you. Okay, but I'm going to tell you right now that nothing's going to stop you. This is your motivation. This is your confirmation. God's going to elevate you over everybody that shitted on you, everybody that talked down about you, everybody that left you hanging, everybody that just left you with your, with your hand open. They just slapped it down. You were so broke that all you had was food to eat. And people just judged you. People misused you. People breadcrumbed you. People mishandled you. People... People didn't even want you around. Sometimes you couldn't even afford a shower. But if the shoe was on the other foot, you look out for people. You help other people out. If you had it like that, you would do that. And and you need to be humble in this season too. You know, when people, it's the laws of attraction. The laws of attractions are real. So when you attract good vibes, it attracts your, vibe, it attracts your tribe. So when you attract your tribe, stay close to them. I'm by myself. Why do you think I'm sitting here by myself? Because you want to know why most of the time I'm by myself? It's because every time I go out, every time I get close to somebody, every time I feel like I can... I, and the funny thing about it is we can't go back. Every time you think about going back, something in the click of your mind makes you feel like, oh, that's the reason why. That's the reason why God moved me along. God's going to force his way, whether you like it or not. Okay. Your, your success is inevitable and people are sick and sick of themselves. The reason why people are sick of you because they can't even, they can't even really, the reason why people don't rock with you is because people don't even rock with themselves. You got gang stalkers. You got, you got neighbors hating on neighbors. You got, you got, you got friends, you got neighbors, you got all these people that are just they're watching you, watching you about to explode. And they're going to be sick because they wish they could have been right next to you and played their role. But people don't want to play their role. They only want a handout. So guess what? It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. That's how you need to play this. So, you, so we're due for a day. We're due for a day. And a miracle is going to come in the morning. But you got to stay down for your crown. Because God's going to make you the king of your thing. God's going to make you the queen of your scene. So it's not a matter if it's going to happen. It's a matter when it's going to happen. And when it's going to happen, people are going to be having that dumbfounded look on their face. And guess what? Keep it moving. Because when God elevates you, he got you away from those Decepticons. You don't need to give nobody your energy. If people are gang stalking you, if if you got, if you, if, you know, you give them a high, high bye, I love you, God bless you, and keep it moving. Because they wasn't prepared to go to war with you, they wasn't prepared to go to battle with you, they wasn't prepared to, to suffer with you, they was only prepared to achieve and, and leech off you. So this is just my message to anybody that's going through something, anybody that's ever been through something. It's not a matter about if it's going to happen. See, it's not a matter about if it's going to happen. See, it doesn't even, that's doesn't that's not even something that you should get into your brain. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. You're going to stay down for your crown and God's going to make you the best thing around. I'm telling you right now. Smash this thumbs up. Give this thumbs up. Send this to five people that's been battling. You know, they've been they've been belittling you for too long. They've been stalking you for too long. Okay, when when you when you push these karmics away, when you push all these people away that just only really wanted to handle all they were looking out was for themselves. They weren't looking out for the really the God's child. They weren't looking out for their well being because guess what? They played themselves out of position. They want to be close to you. See, the thing about these gang stalkers, the thing about these people that watch you closest, they want to be next to you, but they can't. They want to be just like you. They want some of your anointings and appointments for the mission, but they can't. They don't, they, they, they don't have it in them. See, there's some people, there's many are called, fewer chosen to understand, you know, your, your birth, your birth with a different type of chip. So it's okay. If they don't, don't, don't worry about if they helping you out. Don't worry about if they're gang stalking you. Don't worry about if they, if they stalk in your page or if they, or if they, you know, there's some neighbors that, you know, want to just sit there and be all in your business and be nosy. They, or, or your fake family, your fake family members that, that want to see you fail, really, or a secret competition with you. Really, at the end of the day, these people are in secret competition with you. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you rise above. 
They just want to leech off you. If it ain't beneficial, then they don't want to be about it. We live in, in this cold, super superficial world where it's about status, about one and up in each other. It's about, you know, outdoing each other. But if you consistently repair yourself, consistently repair your mind to understand that it's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. And when it's going to happen, I need you to stay there. I need you to go up. And I need you to stay there. And don't look back. Don't worry about what you're going through right now because God's going to get you through it. I'm going.